hey guys welcome back to our channel it's a girl funny lungu back with another reaction video if you're new welcome if you're not welcome back uh thank you for subscribing liking commenting sharing watching everything you guys do is very much appreciated hope you know that hope you're doing well as well um you can find us on facebook and instagram as funny and jesse head there say hi we'll say hi back check out our vlogging channel called funny and jesse 2.0 head there subscribe and enjoy the vlogs that we actually put out Feel free to suggest anything for me to react to and I'll be more than glad to look into it. So today I'm going to be reacting to what if we realize in the hereafter that we are in the wrong religion. Ask Dr. Zaki Naik. So without wasting time, let's get into the video. Then we have the next question. Assalamualaikum Dr. Zaki. My name is Muhammad Shurah Bil Hassan bin Rafidi. I am a UNISA student. Um, I am asking on behalf of my friend, he asked me, but I cannot give a solid answer. All I can say is, Wallahu alam, no further comment. Uh, he asked me, uh, what if uh, in afterlife we realize that we are in the wrong religion? Thank you. Well, ask the question that what if in the afterlife we realize we are in the wrong religion? That's a big problem. That is the reason do research now. Do research now, otherwise you cannot come back in life. This test is only once. That is the reason tell your friend that you have to research now what Allah has given the brick. Allah has given grey matter to us. Use your brain to find out the right religion. And if you find the right religion, stick to it. So with whatever knowledge Allah has given us, if you use your logic reasoning, you'd only come to know, as Allah says in Surah Imran, chapter number 3, verse number 19, Inna dina in the Lail Islam, the only religion acceptable in the sight of Almighty God, in the sight of Allah is Islam. Islam is the only right religion. I've given you so many scientific facts. Whatever knowledge we have in the world, we can prove the existence of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and prove to them that Quran is the word of God and we have to follow the Quran, inshallah. We will go to Jannah in the next live, inshallah. Hope that answers the question. Um, this video got me thinking because the other day I was reacting to some guy that uh, said all religions are right in their own area, I guess. So if you believe this religion, it must take you to heaven. If you believe this, it takes you to heaven, provided that you're doing good things, not harming people, or endangering people, or endangering yourself. Uh, if we're going to follow that logic of that person I was reacting to that day, it doesn't it mean that as long as you belong to this religion and you're doing right by God, then you'll find your way to heaven. As long as, even if you believe in this other religion or the 800th religion in the world, as long as you're doing right by the God that you serve, then um, you're going to find yourself in heaven. Um... I've actually had this conversation with friends. What if what you supposedly believe um, doesn't actually or is wrong or doesn't take you where you thought it would take you? I would love to say um, the mind is a powerful place. So what you think becomes as long as I want to say if you think good about your religion, whatever it is, then and you're doing good by God and you're not practice and you're not doing the most in this world i feel like it should lead you somewhere i can't judge a religion based on my beliefs just because i don't appreciate your belief or don't believe in yours you know i'd have to study all the religions to actually say this is wrong this is wrong this is wrong this is wrong but then don't ever let anyone come into your life and tell you that um you won't see heaven because you practice this and if you do and are willing to listen, exchange ideas, see where that conversation takes you, see what you learn from the other person. And um, always seek knowledge. That's why he said, did he say read? Did he say, there's something Dr. Zakina just said. Just always seek knowledge out there. Don't be someone who's blown everywhere the wind takes them. Find some, find a religion that you're comfortable with, you're proud with, and you stand by, and you defend no matter what, and you just be peaceful. 
knowing that you follow that religion and let me know what you guys actually think about this short video if there's anything you want me to react to let me know down below i'm more than glad to react to react to it make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and i'll see you in my next reaction video